what's going on guys it's your girl i am back and i am about to discuss marriage to medicine when i tell you it is gonna be juicy it's gonna be juicy baby i am four but they did give housewives a run for their money coming up but i like this episode this first episode it was so juicy but let me tell you something they gonna really give housewives a run for their money because their trailer was unreal honey i was out into it like swim well like what is really going on so I'm just going to say this, that if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Prissy, and welcome to the show. Subscribe, hit the bell, ring my bell, ring my bell, honey, okay? Also, um, <clears throat> I am going to do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway when I reach there, so I just wanted to throw that out before I forget, but I just really want to get into this uh, episode. This was the very first episode, and I'm going to say this, this is season five. I'm really not for sure. I just started watching Marital Medicine like three years ago, okay? So I never watched them from day one because I felt like it was like somewhat of a watered down version of um, Housewives. But, hmm, I started getting into it because people was telling me about it and I really enjoyed it. Now, this is what I want to say. This episode basically was around Jackie to me and Dr. Jackie, okay? So she, what everybody know that her and her husband was going through this thing about him cheating on her, okay? It's no secret, okay? Now, Heavily decided that, you know, she wanted to throw Jackie a, a party and everything else. And, like, she was saying, like, with her husband telling him, you know, she felt like she was going through and all this other stuff and yada, yada, yada. But, um... Yeah, that's what I was getting. He was like really listening and everything else. And that daughter of hers, she is so cute, but she is so grown. And I'm just surprised that Heavily always giving everybody else advice, but she don't put that little girl in her place. But that little girl be putting Jackie in her place. I'm like, who is the parent here, okay? But um, maybe she been here before, child. I don't know. So let me just get into Dr. Jackie. She... Um, heavily rented out this hotel room, I guess a suite or whatever, and it was really nice. All the girls came and they all look really good. Um, who is my favorite? I want to say Toya, my favorite, okay? But anywho, let's get and heavily. I like heavily, love heavily, okay? So, you know, heavily did this little hotel thing where she set up caterers. Head was serving hors d'oeuvres and everything else. That's what I saw on the table. And also, um, it looked really good. And I remember seeing all different flavors of chocolate. You know, different handsome guys that were there to cater to them. And it kind of gave me a feel of Real Housewives um, when Candy has done it before. The pampering and all this other stuff. And also, throwing a party for somebody who's going through was giving me Housewives again. When um, Portia, not Portia... When, um, what's her name? Kenya, um, threw one for Phaedra last year and she wasn't feeling it because it was about her getting a divorce. But it's not about that, that show. It's about marital medicine, but I'm just giving out the comparisons that I thought was kind of similar. So, Dr. Jackie arrives as the last person or whatever the women are getting into it. And you know what? What was so interesting that Toya mentioned to Kawhi that her and Eugene have, they only have sex twice a month. And I'm just like, are you serious? Like, you married. I just knew that at least couples had, you know, uh, especially young couples would get it in at least two or three times a week. Okay? Maybe I'm wrong because your girl's not married. But, okay, twice a month, that's horrible. Okay? What's going on in that marriage? And Toya, you need to get on your business because, child, you never know who's peeking in your bushes over there, okay? So, let's just say that um, the she was overexcited when she saw those chocolate men. She had oil, rubbing oil on them, you know, seeing all kind of stuff. And I was just sitting back, like, see, one thing about Dr. Heavily, she's smart. She, she's smart. She on, she, she'll start the fire and everything else, and she'll look back at everything else, like, it wasn't me. Y'all the one who playing with the fire. But heavily, you started the fire. Come on now. Fire started. So she like even giving uh, Toy the side eye. But Toy was overexcited and rubbing all out on the men. And to me, I just feel like 
if she don't mind Eugene doing it to strippers and to other women, that I say if they have that type of open relationship, then who am I to talk about that? But it was just like she was just too excited. Like she wanted to get banged. That's what it looked like to me. Or maybe she was just happy. But you know, now mm -mm, Toya, they could have, they could have got, they could have. Yeah, let me just say that. Yeah, it, it, it was just look. And Toya's my favorite, but she was too excited. Maybe because I'm not gonna blame everything on Toya. Maybe Eugene been working so much, you know, all this other stuff. You know, he got all these bills that Toya leaving him, so he trying to make it do. It. But still, Toya, like, calm down. Like your husband, I, I just feel like that was a little disres disrespectful to me. Maybe because I'm old school and everything else. And that's just me, but, like, come on now. If you don't want your husband doing it to you, you know, don't do it to him. But, hey, if that's what y'all do, like I said before, all means have it. But what was interesting, like, when, um, oh, yeah, yeah, and Simone. I'll get to her later. But let me just say this. Dr. Jackie, she was uneasy that she let the guy pick her up. And I was like, maybe she four, you know. But she really wasn't for it. She was. She was just in a bad place. And they know that and heavily want to cheer her up. But sometimes for a person like Dr. Jackie, Dr. Jackie give me like she's so classy. She's approved in bed. I'm just saying. And I think she's a sweetheart and I think she's a classy lady. But that's where she was coming out at. Like she don't let her hair down, you know. So, um, and let it all hang out. You know, she just saying like... She, yeah, and you know, everybody is different, you know, but I'm like this, man, you got one life to live, like, let your head down sometimes, you know, let it down sometimes or whatever, but she started breaking down and everything else, and so, you know, they were just saying what they would do, you know, Qua was like, she's leaving, and she's not going to put up with this, Heavily was saying her, her little two cents, and, you know, and it was like, <laughs> are you here to make her feel good? Or are you here to make her feel bad? Because you start comparing your husband and everything else. And that's another thing. I feel like that we're all adults. And what you can say today, you may not can say for tomorrow because we only can live in the present. You never know what a, a spouse or anybody can change horses in the middle of the stream. You know, just never think that your stuff is just so grand and your husband is never going to do this. You never know what your husband will do. Or you never know what your wife going to do. Because people grow up and they they make constantly decisions on a daily basis. You, I just pray and hope that it doesn't happen. But, you know, you can't be like, well, my husband, I'm glad my husband don't do this. And if my husband, you don't know until you placed in that situation. And then on top of that, we don't know what really heavenly and daddy who she called, which is another thing is, it's so weird to me that she calls her husband daddy. It's just. It's, it's just too in sex for in uh, yeah uh uh that's creepy to me, but whatever worked for them it works. But yeah, it was really good to me. Um, Quad was like I said, she was saying her thing or whatever. But what was interesting was um the trailer, and I'm just glad that they all stuck in there with her. And heavily was like you know Dr. Jackie um had her going back to church, and I'm like heavily. Not you. Your name is Heaven. Heavenly. Like, come on now. So she was talking about that, which was interesting. And they still tried to lift her spirits and just really be there for her. Which, you know, I think initially that's what it should have been about. But, you know, you got to have a little excitement with men around, I guess. Uh, it don't hurt. And I appreciate the eye candy heavily, okay? But we know how Dr. Jackie is. You know, she's approved. And, um, and that's with love, you know. But who else? That was just pretty much what I picked up on um, from it. And I did like that Heavily had the Fat Five uh, shirts. I thought that was extra cute. And I was really happy for them. But I'm telling y'all, their trailer was unreal. What the trailer was giving me was that everybody... Uh, marriage is being tested due to Jackie, Dr. Jackie's husband cheating on her and everything else but I'm just going to say this, you have to be careful what you put out there in the atmosphere because last year, Dr. Jackie was like, you know, she just want him to find happiness. If that's not with her, it's with somebody else and you just got to be careful because I think what she thought was Curtis been there, Curtis ain't going away and she can say whatever she want to say because she probably been telling him that but he probably never acted on it and then now 
he acted on it and we all know about it. So I think that was the humiliating part for her because it's embarrassing and everything. And it's embarrassing for anybody because it's out in the open and we all know about it. And it's not something that you can skirt up under the rug. Child, we know, you know. So I'm not condoning the cheating or anything like that. But I just hope that they're able to work on it because like Quad was saying, are you prepared to work on it? You know, what are you prepared to do? But she never did say, but the trainer told, let us know everything we need to know. She's going to sit down and have a talk with him. Mm -hmm. And um, they it looked like they on like this thing at the beach. And, you know, emotions run high with the men. And you're going to see them be more vocal, more, now I want to say emotional behind what they're saying or whatever, but it's getting pretty juicy. I haven't seen all the trailer of season um, 10 of Housewives. I see little snippets, but I, don't, I think, like I say, this Married to Medicine is going to give them a run for their money. Not to say that they are in a competition with each other, but I think it was great for Bravo to put them on behind Real Housewives because, you know, my son is, is popping. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep you all any longer. But, yeah, that's all I had to say on that. So, stay tuned. If you haven't watched it, get into it. And until then, I holla. Bye-bye.